Hi, this is Brad Linder from Lilliputing, and today I'm unboxing an Acer Aspire 1410 uh, that I received from B&H Photo and Video uh, in New York. Now, if you've been watching this YouTube channel or paying attention to Lilliputing.com for a while, you might know that I've actually already received an Acer Aspire 1410 in the past. What makes this one different is that it ships with uh, Windows 7 Home Premium, and in addition to that, it has a new dual-core Intel Celeron processor, uh, which should provide faster performance than what you get out of the uh, earlier model, which had a Core 2 Solo uh, processor. So let's go ahead and open this up. box looks pretty much the same. It's a fairly attractive box. On the side you have the specifications, the Acer Aspire 1410-2801 with a 1.2 GHz Intel Celeron SU2300 processor, 802.11bg uh, draft N Wi-Fi 6-cell battery. A couple more pictures on the back. And let's go ahead and open this box. starter guide that <laughs> even involves how to take everything out of the box, put the battery in, plug it in, etc. The laptop itself is on top. We'll take a closer look at that in just a moment. Underneath the laptop compartment you have a powered brick. Addendum information, uh, international traveler's warranty, and the uh, quick start guide. Battery. And the rest of the power adapter. Now the battery is a 6 cell 48 watt hour 4400 uh, mAh battery, which I believe is the same as on the prior version of this laptop. So the, uh, the primary difference is really going to be in the operating system and the uh, processor. Let's take a look at the computer itself. There you go. It supports multi-gesture support, uh, uh, multi-touch gestures on the touchpad, and it has uh, a little indication of how that works here. Specifications written on the side, um, Intel Celeron, Windows 7 um, pictures, which are uh, stickers. On the side, you've got uh, HDMI port, USB power, VGA vent. The other side has two more USBs, so it's a total of three. Uh, Ethernet, headphone, microphone, actually microphone, headphone, and an SD card slot, which uh, handles pretty much SD. It looks like it doesn't appear to be a memory stick slot. On the um, top, you've got a glossy lid. The bottom has two access panels for uh, updating the RAM, hard drive, and other information or other uh, uh, components. You've got two toggles here, 
one for Bluetooth, and the other one doesn't say, but I'm going to uh, presume that that is for Wi-Fi. Yeah, the other one is right underneath the wireless indicator. And there are um, a couple of indicator status LEDs over here. Let's go ahead and put the battery in and see if it's got any juice. And it does appear to be powering up, so that's always a good sign. Hello, you can see me in the reflected uh, reflection of the glossy screen. Now this is the first boot, so um, it might not boot directly into Windows. It might go through a setup uh, screen, which could take a while, but um, it might not. Let's see. Now what I'll be particularly interested in with this device is to see how it performs on uh, CPU intensive tasks like transcoding audio and video when compared with the earlier model and uh, when it uh, comes to high definition flash video. Um, looks like it does go through a setup screen, so this could take a little while. Um, but uh, the Acer Aspire 1410 and the Acer Aspire, uh, well, the, the Acer Aspire 1410 has uh, integrated GMA 4500 MHD graphics. Now that's a step above the GMA 950 graphics that you get with most Intel Atom powered uh, netbooks. But this laptop's not significantly larger than a netbook. I mean, it's a little bit larger. It has an 11.6-inch high-resolution display. But when I had the version with the Core 2 Solo processor, it still wasn't fast enough to handle high-definition flash video or high-quality flash video from websites like YouTube or Hulu. And um, what I really want to know is whether the dual-core model does have a little bit more oomph to it to, to handle that. Um, Adobe has announced that the uh, next generation version of Flash, Flash Player 10.1, will include hardware acceleration support, but there's uh, that hardware acceleration, as far as I know, is going to be for NVIDIA graphics, ATI graphics, not necessarily Intel integrated graphics. Um, just skip through that for now. So here we are finalizing the Windows 7 Home Premium setup. And it says it's going to take another two minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this video because it's already gotten long enough, but we'll have uh, more coming up on Lilliputing.com and on this YouTube channel in the future. This is Brad Linder with Lilliputing and the Acer Aspire 1410 with the dual-core Intel Celeron CULB, Consumer Ultra Low Voltage Processor. Um, this is a demo unit that was sent to me by B&H Photo and Video in New York.